Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sunday. Have you ever had a time in your life when you've been really scared? I know I have. And I wanna tell you a story today about one time that happened to me and how God helped me. I don't know if you know this about me, but many years ago, I had the chance to live and work in Uganda, which is in East Africa. And I got to teach children just like you, whose moms and dads were working there. They were there to tell people about Jesus and to provide medical care and other help in Jesus's name. And I got to teach their kids. And it was really wonderful. I loved it there. I had a wonderful, wonderful experience. I was there for two whole years. And most of the time I was there, it was a peaceful, joyful place to live and to work. Except for towards the last few months when I lived there. And then there was some unrest near where I lived and some fighting broke out. And just about a week before it was time for me to get on a plane and go back home to the United States to see my family and move back here, the fighting got really, really bad. It got so bad that one morning, my teammates and I woke up to the sound of gunfire outside our windows. And we had to get up and walk out very, very quietly in order to get away from the gunfire. And we walked for a really, really long time, probably 12 or 13 miles, until we were able to get help. And a big helicopter that the US Embassy sent came and got us and took us to a place of safety. It was a really scary time for me and my teammates and also my Ugandan friends. And it was a sad time for me because I thought that I was gonna get a chance to say goodbye to my dear, dear friends who I loved so much because I'd been living and working with them for the last two years. And while I got to see my American teammates, I had to leave my Ugandan friends behind and in danger. I was frightened for them and I was very, very sad. But I want to tell you one way that God helped me that day. There was a scripture that I had learned years and years before. And while I was walking all those miles to get to a place of safety, and I'll tell you boys and girls, I'll be honest. I believed in God and I trusted in God, but I still felt afraid because that's what it means to be human. God did give me his peace, but there were times when I just felt frightened. But these are the words that he gave me and they gave me strength to keep going. I want to read them to you this morning. And I want you to listen because this is God's word to you and to me this morning. I'll be reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Boys and girls, on that day long ago, I heard God say to me again and again, that God is my refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble, and that I need not fear, 
no matter what. Boys and girls, the good news is I got to go back and visit my friends in Uganda about two years after that when things had settled down and were safe again. And in God's mercy, he protected each and every one of my friends and they were all healthy and well. I'm thankful for that. But I'm even more thankful for what God taught me that day. And that is that God is always with me, even when things are scary, even when things feel like too much. It's not too much for God. And it is good to be still and know that he is God. Boys and girls, that is good news for us today. I pray that this week, if you feel scared or afraid, that God will remind you that he is your refuge and your strength. He's your safe place and he is your help in times of trouble. Isn't that good news this morning? Boys and girls, I love you so much. I'm really glad to see those of you who are here this morning. As always, I miss those of you who are worshiping from home, and I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday.